Welcome back to the OTK Autolenghi Test Kitchen YouTube channel and we've got a whole load of new videos with recipes. This time they are from our new Autolenghi Test Kitchen cookbook called Extra Good Things. And it's all about the extra good things. It could be a sauce, a sprinkle, a pickle, something else that you can utilize again and again in the next meal. So come watch our videos, there's going to be tons of them and they're going to be delicious and beautiful and you'd really want to cook them. So, Yatam, what are you making for our lunch today? Yeah, so the first uh, thing from the book that I'll be cooking is the Parmigiana, oh. Middle Eastern style. Good choice. That recipe is a winner. It is a winner and mm -hmm. it's, it's popular and the extra good thing is a spiced tomato sauce. Oh, which you can is use that. Beautiful. So, you can repurpose that sauce so, so many times. So many times. You can have a little jar in your fridge yeah. and as soon as you want a pasta or rice, yeah, you or heat shakshuka. It up. Or shakshuka. Or shakshuka. That would yeah. be a good one. Great idea. Delicious, I can't wait. Okay, Allah, get to work. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm starting by just uh, penning my aubergine slices. They're about a centimeter or a centimeter and a half thick. I'm giving it a toss in flour, and then it goes into the egg, and then into breadcrumbs, and that's nice and seasoned. So one by one, um, the slices go into the flour, the egg, the breadcrumbs, and all over again. So they're all done. They really don't need to be perfect. All these clumpy bits of bread, they are, they just add texture really. So, uh, it all, and it all ends up in a beautiful pie. So don't try to be a perfectionist at this stage. And now I'm just gonna drizzle it with a generous amount of oil. So think about it, I'm not frying them, uh, but you want this kind of rich aubergine experience that comes out of olive oil. So I'm giving each one a good kind of half a teaspoon to one teaspoon on top and everything is seasoned. So once they're cooked in the oven, you're gonna get this really melt in the mouth aubergine experience. Now it goes into the oven, whoop, uh, 15 minutes and then I'll turn them around and give them another 15 minutes. So uh, while the aubergines are in the oven doing their thing, I'm going to make a tomato sauce, a spiced up tomato sauce. So I'm gonna start by heating up my oil on a medium high heat, and I'm gonna add some chopped uh, onions, and um, uh, it starts with sauteing some onion. So uh, you want the onions to soften really nicely. You want all that sweetness in the onion. And now I'm gonna add a fair amount of garlic. There's quite a few cloves here, um, four or six cloves, depending on the size. And a couple of teaspoons of cinnamon. And this is the kind of where the uh, Mediterranean slash Middle Eastern touch comes into this Parmigiana. And just about a teaspoon of ground cumin and uh, some chili, and you can use as much chili as you like and cook that down, the garlic and the spices, for about a minute. And, um, and now I'm gonna add some tomatoes, salt, a bit of sugar. You don't have to ha have the sugar there if you don't want to, but I just find that sugar uh, really nice, uh, balances those tomatoes very nicely and gives it that extra richness some uh, black pepper. And finally, um, I'm gonna add some water, nearly half a liter of water, and to allow the sauce to just bubble away gently uh, for about half an hour and get all these flavors to mix together, become all subtle and beautiful and ready for my Parmigiana. So after about 15 minutes, I'm just gonna turn my aubergines around and give them another 15 minutes. They've got a really nice color, so they're like this golden brown and rich, and you can see that they're gonna be wonderful soakers of that. Uh, tomato sauce on which they're going to be playing. So I've got my uh, tin here lined and I'm just going to start 
uh, putting the aubergines inside, the tomato sauce that's bubbling away, it's literally ready. So I'm gonna literally take it off the heat now. And um, there's one last thing that I'm gonna do, and that is add some chopped coriander. And, you know, put as much or as little coriander as you want. And so that goes into the tomato sauce. And now I can set my cake or pie. So it's a loosely lined tray that will hold everything together. And I'm just gonna create the layers now, starting with aubergines. So you can take a whole aubergine and put it in there and see how it fits. And then another one. And after that, uh, I use a little knife, a bit like a jigsaw, to create a, a complete layer of aubergines on the bottom of the, of the pan. So this to fill in this corner. So you can just play a little bit. Just imagine you're making a jigsaw puzzle. That's what you're after. The first layer is just a neat layer of, of aubergines. And then this thickened tomato sauce with all the spices goes and kind of coats the aubergine. And the lovely thing about these aubergines is like they're cooked and they're soft, but they will soak some of this tomato sauce. You want to use about one sixth of your tomato sauce at this age because we're going to do three layers and then we're going to serve some of the tomato sauce on the sides. And now I'm just going to dot it with mozzarella. And that is just the, you do it in the loosest, kind of easiest way, just drop it in. Don't cover, you want some bits to have the mozzarella and some of the others, it's not like a, a solid layer. And then this uh, pecorino, which is a bit more mature, so that will give a kind of a body. And then I continue the layers of aubergine, tomato, cheese, until you get to the top, so three layers all together of each one, which looks really, really beautiful. So what really makes this really special, this, um, this parmigiana, and very different from normal parmigianas you might come across, is this. And that's the Karaifi pastry, which is uh, the Middle Eastern pastry that has that kind of, that really looks like shredded wheat. That's the only uh, comparison I can find. It's just something really special. It goes really crunchy. It needs quite a lot of fat, oil, to almost fry it. So I'm gonna add quite a bit of oil here. It's about three tablespoons. So it really um, kind of soaks, not soaks it, but fries in it. That's the best way to describe it. And then I'm gonna add the remaining pecorino that hasn't gone into the pie itself. So there's um, some grated pecorino here and then I'm just gonna spread that on the pie in the loosest, kind of simplest way. And as this will cook, it will crispen up. The tomato sauce will spread everywhere as it warms up and you get that kind of perfect experience, tomato, cheese, and a crispy top. Beautiful. And I'm gonna put it in the oven at 180 for about half an hour and then I'm going to crank up the temperature so you get a nice crispy top so it really, um, it really cooks on top nice. You get a lot of color for an extra 15 minutes. So here we go. I mean, that looks like super beautiful brown and crispy and that kadaifi is like to die for. But don't open it right away because you want to let it set and cool down and then you can open the tin and cut a beautifully neat slice. So I'm going to have some mint tea while I wait patiently. Okay, so this has been sitting for about half an hour. So it's ready to come out of the tin. So, and I'm just gonna remove, and uh, that what is revealed underneath is just so beautiful. So you can see all those layers of the aubergine and tomato sauce and the cheese. Uh, Noor, you want to get some plates and we can have yeah, a little feast. I do. Do you want to get beauty shot? Yeah. <laughs> the beauty shot is, you are the beauty shot. <laughs> <laughs> it looks beautiful. Lucky me. Lucky both of us. Oh, look at that. Wow. You see the, do you see the cheese and everything? That it's looks just beautiful. Gorgeous, it? All those layers. Yeah. And there's um, some extra good thing, some more tomato sauce oh, yeah, to go with. Yeah, yeah, that's what makes it, all those yeah. spices in there. Look at that. Yeah. So 
good. It's so, so good. Did I wow you? You, you, you wow me every day. <laughs> <laughs> you are just beyond. <laughs> I've made my parmigiana and I've got the tomato sauce, uh, which is the extra good thing. And I'm just gonna make a quick Greek dish called prawn sakanaki, which is prawn with tomato sauce and feta. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the easiest dish in the world to prepare because all you need is a nice tomato sauce, which I've made, and some prawns that have been uh, defrosted. I'm just gonna season them uh, and put a little bit of oil around them just to kind of give them a bit of flavor, and then let, literally insert them in the sauce. I'm gonna add some feta, and I'm gonna put this under the grill for about five minutes. This is just like exactly as I want it, so it's all bubbly and the cheese is brown and the prawns are cooked and it's wonderful, and you can just really literally eat it as it is. You can sprinkle it with some uh, fresh organo or, or dried organo, but I'm just making a little something extra, which is really unnecessary, but it will make it look so nice and adds a bit of freshness. So um, I've got some broad beans here. I'm gonna add some crushed garlic, um, some preserved lemon, and I'm gonna add some dill as well. Um, I'm gonna add some oil and a bit of salt and just mix that all up and spread that on top of my sakanaki. So you just kind of spread it around everywhere. So this is my extra good thing. So spiced tomato sauce from the book with uh, prawn sakanaki, which is Greek prawns with feta cooked in that lovely sauce and just kind of ready to dig into with lots of bread and gusto and delicious grease attitude. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The links to all the recipes are below. And please also add comments below to what you did with your extra good things. So that... Oh.